see the tips right here it's, it's non c curve so it does give it a nice shape and it's straight um it's straight and this is the coffin one i'm gonna put some on my own nails and show you guys what it's like but this is nice i mean it's already coffin you don't have to buy those like um the little tips anymore um you know how you used to get the little tips um then you have to cut them down to make coffin what happens is here let me show you the difference if we did that um let's see i have just little tips right here so we have for example come on come on if we were to grab a stiletto tip they're usually about this length about an xl length and not nowhere near as long as this this is almost double the size well i guess that means this 3xl so i'm gonna do a little bit here so you guys see better like that so when you clip the stiletto tip yes you do get coffin and i still use the stiletto tips when i do stiletto sets but before we used to do this and the reason why this is just not as good because a lot of times you get that kind of like at the tip it's not as squared because it's like it's a pointed so this one is a little bit different because it's already tapered uh it's already tapered for you just like that ah Ooh, i don't know why i keep getting phone calls sorry and there we go um wow this is long I mean, I do have clients that want really long, and sometimes people actually glue two of these together. Now you really don't have to, to be honest with you. Um, there's no longer having to glue on a glue on it. Let's put one of these on and see what we got here. Uh, I'm just gonna slightly buff my nail, and I'll show you guys the other one. But this one, so you see where it's lighter, you can glue it. Look, it fits perfectly. I think um, a size three, a five for me. We'll fit in each of these nails. I can go to size smaller, but for just demo purposes, I'm just not gonna do that. This is a small dab of glue. They should apply fairly easy because it is thinner. And there you have it. From my angle, this looks pretty straight. And I'll probably do application on this just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, this is the the new, you can get these on the, the link. I Oh, did I pin it? No, I posted it, but I didn't pin it. So you can get these pretty much um, at the Nerdash shop right now. These are the triple X, the three XL um, non C curve. So the sidewalls, you can see, it's not a C curve; it's more straight out. So definitely, you can build more uh, length. Um, it's very long. You can definitely cut this. I mean, there's no reason why you can't use this and cut down a little bit shorter. But I recommend. Um, yeah, these I think you. I don't want you to cut down too much because the more you cut down, um, you're gonna be getting more of a taper. I mean, I guess if you want to do like a taper, you can cut down halfway, but it's kind of waste of the tip. I think this tips is for the ones that like to do the really long sets or the demo sets that you like to do on your demo hands. You can glue these on and get the full length of it. I'm um, cutting down a little bit of it is fine. Give you about that a little bit longer than double XL. But I'm gonna keep this at that full length, and I'm gonna try the other tip. Um, this is the uh, square. So this is the taper, non C curve tip. I'm gonna see if the same size apply. I had this is the same company that makes all my tips, and I always have them to make them just a little bit thinner than what they usually have it calibrated, just because um, these aren't as long, but these are the double XL, and I think this is more than plenty for any client. To be honest with you, you're never gonna go any longer than this. Um, an average client, this is about the length they want. Anybody that gets this length, this is like pretty much like extravagant. Um, so, also non C curve, as you can see. I wish I could have. I do. Let me see. Let me show you the comparison um, with the C curve and non C curve. Uh, do I have a C curve? My C curve is here. Here it is. Let me show you the. The difference when I mean non C curve. Non C curve does not mean that there's no curve at all. It just means that it's just less of a curve. Because a lot not a lot of people, um, people are changing the style right now and there's like a, and they want longer and then it's a little bit harder for people to work with C curve. Um, here we go. I have four. and I mean there's nothing wrong with using C curve because I have C curve tips and you sell them also. This just for people that don't prefer. This is a C curve tip. And it's a side side by side comparison. They just kind of remove the C-curve a little bit. Ah, let me see if I can get this so you guys can see. You guys see that? The difference? 
it's less of a curve, but people still like this, the ones that like to use it because it gives them more durability. Um, they're the same companies that have them made a little less, less C-curved here. Whew, I need a black background for this. This is the non-C-curve. This is the C-curve that you'll get. So a little bit thicker and wider. So I'm gonna actually put this on too. The length difference definitely a little bit different, but this is actually the ideal length. I don't ever do any longer than this length. This is actually a very nice length that people do. Um, so for me, this is a perfect length. And they glue on fairly nicely because I have the tips, the wells thinner. My fingers aren't the straightest, but it's, it's like a size comparison. If you go, uh, you know, this is just perfect. Look how straight this is. Um, tapered, straight tip, non-C curve. Very nice. Let's do some application. Of course, I want to remove this after, so I'm gonna put some oil on here first. Uh, give me a second, guys. Okay, let me give you some monomer. I'll use some wave gel products today. I really like wave gel. Oh, that's acetone, shit. <laughs> Imagine doing an application with acetone. Nice. I just wanna put some powder on here just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, the difference between the non-C curve and C curve. Yeah, this is the, the middle finger is a perfect length. Um, any client that wants an XL um, one tip length, that's like a perfect, perfect length. Um, this one is actually a little bit, just, ex I have these just because people actually do this length and it's, I don't want, and people, I don't like, I would see if people have to do double tips where they have to cut two tips. You're kind of wasting it to be honest with you, but to put a double tip on there. So I'm gonna use some um, 171 from Wave Gel here and 171 from Wave Gel. Of course, I'd use my, my you know, dead monomer, and I'm probably using my 12 brush. So let's go. First, I'm gonna put some oil on here. So I can rip this off. Ah, where's my cuticle oil? I don't, I wanna be able to remove these a little easier, so I'm gonna put some oil on my nail beds. Let's do the this finger first. I keep live on my phone fully charged. Ain't that good? <laughs> Why would you use a non C curve? Um, using a non C curve, pretty much people just they like a little bit more. They don't want um too, too bulky sometimes for a lot of people. Um, this is well, like I said, it's not non C curve. They call it non C curve. Just that's just how they call it. But it actually, still has a C curve. It's just less of a C curve. So um, it's not really like no curve. It's not like completely flat. So. That's just a terminology they use, um, unfortunately. Pretty sure I can get the whole. I rarely ever do my own nails, so excuse me if this is a little bit rough for me. But there you go. My monomer is pretty much a medium setting, so you see it doesn't really run anywhere, but it still gives me a lot of time to work with it. Yeah, so um, when it says non-C curve, it does not mean that it's like no curve at all. It just means that it's less of a C curve um, for preference purposes. And it's becoming very popular now. Of course, you gotta follow the trends. And they actually look pretty good when you apply them on. Yeah, see how the, my powder moves when I move it? This is the monomer. It's a medium setting, so it sets a little bit quicker than um, like a, a slow setting monomer, well duh. But actually when I wanna move it, I move it. Actually I got all the way to the tip, it's just I'm, I didn't have enough powder. I mean, this is a long nail, everybody. I mean, come on, let's be honest, this is a very long nail. So of course I'm gonna have to have this missing powder here. But just, I just wanna put the powder on just to show you guys the um, uh, why these are popular. Because if this was a fully C-curved tip, there's gonna be a lot of sidewalls 
and then um, a lot of nail techs they they have issues working with these side walls so um it gets too bulky with this actually it removes that um that kind of traffic of course the more c-curve it has the more durability it does because we all know anything if that's arch has more durability but this has a slight c-curve to it also so i'm gonna pretty much bring it in very nicely see i don't know how that's focused but i didn't cut the tip so it's kind of a little rounded off but i'll shape it later all in all not bad let's see if i can do an ombre with this it looks good with an ombre yeah it's pretty dark nude right here but I think that would look good with an ombre. Get that set a little bit. I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more than that. I'm doing my ombre a bit first. This is very strange for me because I I don't ever work on my own nails, so please excuse me. Get that blended nice and easy there. And that's going to be where my apex is going to be. It's not bad. I, I like this. Yeah, for you guys that actually do your own nails, I... I really give you guys props. <laughs> it's definitely an, a humbling experience. I probably did my own nails maybe a few times just for demo purposes, but that's probably why it takes you guys weeks to do your own nails. Get my cable area down. What I want to do is show you guys the side profile and the structure of these tips. Um, just as you guys see the little bit of the difference and why these are used um they're actually pretty good i mean i would have gotten on the ball these tips a long time ago it's just that i've been just playing around with this company and just trying to get them to do what i need them to do you know the thing about me is the thickness of the tips i i i like them i just i had to tell them hey i want it thinner i want it thinner and it takes some more time to recalibrate the machine and send me samples, that's why it takes me forever, but I'm pretty happy with what they produce now, and I'll be able to offer it to you guys. I'm a big, I'm a big research and development type of person. I won't ever develop, or I won't ever bring out something unless I really, really like it. Okay, let me get some clear powder. I'm gonna file and drill and top coat these for you guys, just so you guys can see the final product. Oop. Oh my lord, I feel that heat, but I'm just gonna cap the ombre. Ah. Ooh, that heat. Oh my god, I know how my clients feel. Yo. It's heating up a little bit for me here. Lord. Okay, it went away. You use that heat just really means that it's just drying. So it's just drying, trying to dry. So I just got to blow on it, maybe a little water, a little spray bottle of water or something like that, guys. It will be able to, to diffuse that right away. So I'm going to pretty much build my structure and make sure I get it nice and even with my clear, um, give myself a nice, I don't want a lot of work later. All right, that's nice. Nice and long. I make sure I maintain the shape, so I have to shape a lot later. I'm actually gonna do this, this middle finger a whole solid color. Actually, no, I'll do an ombre, show you guys the difference between a taper and do the same ombre. This middle finger is the ideal length right here, as long as I probably go with clients. Um, 
this is great, but not a lot of clients can wear these and be functional. Let's be honest with, let's be honest with ourselves, huh? They want to. We want them to too, but if we're gonna be honest. No way. Uh, unless they're not doing anything, it's just too hard to function. Unless they've been doing it, wearing it before. This one really works so great. Probably one of my second best selling product, my monomer compared to, uh, this is my monomer and my brushes, acrylic brushes. Best sellers. So, as you see, I'm the difference between these tips is you gotta make sure you gotta cradle the side walls because they do have a slight curve because they are straight tips, okay? These are not the curved tips. So it's gonna be have a nice C, it's, it still has a little bit of C curve, you guys see that? It's just not as much. Let's do this ombre again. And if I was, Someone that wears nails, and I'm a nail tech. I probably do my nails all day, guys. Not gonna lie. I'd probably sit and do my nails all day. Also, many designs. Get the ombre down. Probably my favorite thing to do is ombre. That's technique to show that you know powder control. Once you master ombre, that means you've mastered powder control. It means that you know exactly how long it takes for powder to dry, you know the ratio, you know everything down. You put some clear on here. Just to protect my ombre later when I file and drill. And that's it. I mean, yes, if I did that on a client, I'd probably do a little bit thicker and so and so, but this is not a client. I'm just doing this to show you guys what the tips look like. I'm gonna do some finishing touches as in shaping and whatnot, show you guys the, what it looks like in the final, even part, even with some cuticle work, just clean it up. But um, all in all, the tips are great. I'm gonna probably start using these on some clients pretty soon when I start, I'll book some clients and use these. I have some clients been waiting for these. Um, structure wise, you guys see from the side walls, um, you still gotta build a little bit more apex because it's a little bit longer, you can see. Uh, this is for the longer one. Of course, I always focus my apex where I need it. It's where my main, I'm gonna drill this down a little bit more. Um, this one, a little bit shorter. You don't need that much of an apex, but it's still there for my natural nails. So side, side by side comparison of the two. They're both long and straight, but except one is taper and one is coffin. Ooh, I'm starting to feel the heat. Importantly, I gotta clean my brush if you don't clean this <laughs> fuck me actually that's not that bad compared to i think some what some of my clients some clients will feel just remember have a spray bottle or something on the side guys you can spray that down let's do some file in here let's separate the skin there uh, downward. I pretty much kept my shape. Um, holy. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, I'm like a whole new nail tech when I do my own nails. Everything I learn out the door. That's what you gotta do sometimes when you get product in and you don't have a client to use them on. I, I could have booked the client in, but she was she couldn't she couldn't come in today. She wanted them to, but I didn't want to force her to come in just to maybe show some new tips off. But honestly, not bad. A little bit of hand filing. These are definitely worth it. Um, from what I've seen, if, when you take pictures, I think they're gonna be very nice and aesthetic. Um, you don't have to glue two tips on. You don't have to do too much work. Right now, I'm just doing some hand filing. 
just to even out the tip. Um, of course, the tips aren't that thick either. The thickness of the tip, I had them made a little bit thinner. So unlike some tips that you know that you've seen that look really, really thick, that you have to drill down. Um, you don't have to with my tips because I've, I've made, I've requested the companies to press them thinner um, because I don't like replacing tip with acrylic. Cause then like, you know, if the tip's too thick and you got, you have to put on thin acrylic because you put thicker, the right amount of thickness of acrylic on there is going to make the tips even thicker. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let me see if I can get some crisp corners here without ripping my fingers off. I actually gave my staff these tips. They're probably gonna be using it this week already. Okay. I do like these taper ones. Yeah, it's so nice and taper, guys. And straight. If you think about it, this this X it takes you so long to do your nails, you procrastinate. Yeah, I feel you. This is me for demo. I'm gonna do some finishing touches, some cuticle work, and I'm gonna top coat these, and I'm sure you get the side profiles. Um, it's important to, to notice with the side profiles is these tips are definitely um, very fun tips to have. Well, actually very usable tips. I'm probably going to switch over to using these tips only when I do longer sets, to be honest with you. When I do shorter sets, I'll use my natural tips. Um, anything that I need that straight tip for, I'll probably use these tips from now on. And if I really need the, the durability or the short, I'll probably use my C-curve tips to cut down. But um, I think what is before people are actually cutting their C-curve tips on the sides to make them less C-curve. So they decided to just say, well, you know what, there's too much work. Have people just, you know, have the company just make them like that. And it became a big trend. It's actually pretty popular now. Oh, wow. That's crispy. That taper look real nice. This is like what I've been looking for. This is like the ideal taper tip. Length and all, guys. Like a client that and usually this is the ideal length for like Instagram nails right here. It's about a complete XL, a little bit over a little bit, but. I might put some rhinestones on this. The finisher. I don't understand how people, I don't understand how you guys can work with nails this long though. I mean, work doesn't do nails. I tried it once. I lost the bet and I, I had to do it, but. Maybe I should just have to do my nails more, get more proficient at it. Get that nice sidewalls. a little bit. Ooh, I gotta be careful because I got my sharp bit in. This drill bit is definitely like my go-to bit. My sharp five and one. You cannot go wrong with this bit. It goes around the cuticle so nicely. It does its job.
yeah, these tips, be the ones, guys. Try them. Um, they're on the store right now, actively. You can look them up. Coffin, Nancy Curve. I guess the reason why they call them Nancy Curve is because saying less C Curve doesn't really make any sense. Or like, it, it doesn't sound right. So non-C curve means it's just less of a C curve. Just like how non-fat products, it really still has fat in it. It's just less fat, that's all. Or non-sugar. This drill bit is the perfect blending and cleaning bit. I hope to God this cuticle oil is gonna pop these tips, these nails right off when I'm done showing you guys. I kinda wanna put some rhinestones on here just for the hell of it. That's well, all right. Since I'm already doing this. Definitely gonna use these on a nice fall set. Coming up here, or Halloween actually. It's not really ready time for fall yet. People get ready for Halloween. Fall is probably like mid-October. September is more of like preparing for Halloween. Holding on to summer nails. It'd be sad if people are doing fall sets in September, to be honest with you. It's too soon. I'm, a, I'm good for that at that. I'm just gonna give a nice buff. Oh, feel that. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Because I already did my hand filing here, early with my hand filer, I really don't have to go through with the drill bit with that. Um, I just gotta buff it nicely and get it nice and smooth. Nice, huh? Side profile. These tips be the ones. Let's just put some rhinestones around the cuticle area and we should be good to go. I got my new gem sealer here. I upgraded the gem sealer that I had sold for you guys before. Now they come in 15 milliliters now, not eight anymore. So I kind of doubled the size and it only went up like a couple of dollars in price, but you get more of it. Um, this is what I use to seal my, my gems. These are now available now also um, for those of you guys. I like using this because it gives me time. Let me get my 
die to oh. Raspin. And they're, they work pretty well. So I just lay where I need the stones is. The reason why I like using this compared to other products that are like glue base is because the glue base ones, um, once you put them on, you're on, it's on, you're committed. This you really have time to work with it um, to move it around until you actually cure it. together that's why so I just put enough what I need I don't want any excess on this excuse my uh, crusty ass cuticles that's from the residue from the acrylic um, cuticle oil washing your hands your clients hands if you take it would remove that that's from the residue Usually I don't do one size stones all around, but I'm gonna do it for this one. Just, just make it quick. I don't wanna have to freaking pick through stones. Use I'll probably use smaller stones when I get to the corners, but it should be fine. Just for demo purposes, showing the product. Now once you cure this, remember you don't put a lot, but it doesn't mean you don't put enough either. You gotta make sure there's enough to seal the stones in. Is it like to keep it in? Because once you cure this. Machine. Oh wait, I gotta do the other nails. I gotta do the other one. This is actually a cute design. I might do this set on a client. These two colors actually go really well together. You see, it's like a almost a glue base, and you just take it and you you, need, you have to do the cuticle one. Look, so I lay it like that around the cuticle area. I really don't have that much excess, right? Just enough so that when the stone press down, it kind of like creates a seal is it that's all I need yeah, just start place the stone see when the stone sets down it kind of just pushes it and crunches it out a lot of times I see a lot of people use too much and what happens is you see it overflow over the nail and it kind of looks kind of like a uh, thick you don't want to do that especially stonework you will see the excess all over the place it's just really 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 not aesthetically pleasing it could make or break your set, your stonework. So make sure that you just put just enough. See, there's just enough there. It kind of links them all together. So later on, I'm gonna, when I use my top coat, I'm going to go around that area and the top. I'm going to seal the rest of the stones in fairly nicely. I think I need a little bit more here. I don't know why. I'm... And this product doesn't really, um, it's like a buttery gel base. So it doesn't really... Yes, you guys notice that? You don't really see any excess, right? But you do see it linked into the stones. See that? It's linked to the stones together. And this is the new 50 milliliter Gemon. Keep the new logo, I like that. And just gonna stick your hand in here and So long to dead. So usually when I, whenever I'm working, I will put in like, whenever I'm done with one design, I'll put in, I'll cure it, like a flash cure. Um, and then just to hold the stones. Then when I'm finished with the whole hand, I'll go back in and do the whole hand for 60 seconds. So see how it just holds the stone in. If you flash here this for 10 seconds, it's gonna hold it. And then you're gonna go in later and then you finish all the other ones. Cause you don't want to put stones on, go in for 60 seconds. You're wasting a lot of time. So you're just gonna put flash here just to hold it. So you move on to your next finger, flash here, hold it. And then later on do the whole hand of 60 seconds. 
and you get more timing out of that. So this is just for demo. I will use my top coat, which is probably the best top coat you guys are ever gonna use ever. Um, I promise you that. This crustiness is annoying me. This is a non-cleansed top coat. And I'm gonna be able to put this nice layer. I'm gonna go right up, right up to the, the area there. Very nice and thin. I don't need a lot, okay? So when I go up to the stones, I don't go over it. I just go up to it because it, it creates a nice seal on it. You don't want to put top coat over the stones. It won't, it won't look good, guys. Okay? It, it'll take away from the cut from the stones. What that happens is again, the stones going to be less shiny. Look how dirty my palm is. I'm going to dust off my hand after I'm done. Show you guys the final look. Very nice thin coat because top coat can actually lose your shape also. You know that crispy sides, the crispy tip? You can lose that from the top coat, okay? Don't put it too thick because then they'll all go in one corner and then it'll start looking bulk chunky in the corner. Nice and thin. I got a lot of dust on this top coat because it's my glove, but whatever. This is just for me to show you guys the final look. Nice thin coat. Through. Now my top coat is money back guaranteed. If it's not shiny, you don't like it, you can actually send it back and we'll refund you. You just gotta pay for the shipping and send it back though. <laughs> but we never had that issue because this is actually one of my favorite top coats. It took me four months to formulate this top coat the way I like it. And I'm gonna have final here. Yeah, this Franstone glue is finally got to be able to make it and mass produce for you guys. It does come in matte. I have the matte version right over here. Oh, I should have done one matte, one, I should have done one matte, one top, huh? And this is only after about 15 seconds of clear, uh, curing. I recommend 30 to 30 minutes to six seconds right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Let me get some cuticle oil in here. This is like ugly without the cuticle oil. And there we go. This is a demo of my if you put this cuticle to cuticle you see the length difference it's one xl difference this is the ideal length for any one long one length long nail um this is a little bit extravagant i'm talking about like this length right here full length um this will give you a, you don't have to put two tips on i see a lot of people gluing two tips so this gives you the one length one nail so structurally on the side walls it's actually very nice guys so Thank you guys for joining me. Let me get some final look. My hand is so dirty and dusty. But there you guys go. Just two nails, two ombres. This should be a cute set. Can link to a website. Um, the website is in the pin link below. Yeah, this would be a nice press on set, yeah. Yes, I'm going to start offering press-on soon. I just got to get my everything all ready and stuff, and yeah, I'll be able to make press-ons for you guys. Man, this tip, though. This triple XL coffin, though. Yo, look at that length. This is one tip length, guys. This is not gluing two tips on. It's one tip length. It's a, a long length. This is the XL. This is actually the nice taper. I think this is... I might ask them to make this in 3XL, but we'll see. I think 1XL is good enough for now. 3XL. 3XL is way too long. But like I said, these are too late. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys later. Now I got to pop these off. Eesh.
You need those? Yeah, they're the 3XL. This is 3XL coffin, non C curve, and this is double uh, uh, XL um, taper, straight tip, non C curve. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.